Greetings everyone, um, Jay here, and there's folks been asking me about, uh, you know, the business, so uh, picture's worth a thousand words, so I'm doing a little video here. Um, may not get everything, but I'll get most of it. Anyway, this is my trailer, it's 20 feet, it's called a Cobra, I bought it new in 2005, okay, and what you see on the side here are six foot tables, which uh, I've pulled out of the trailer. So I can, um, when we go inside, I'll try to take some pictures of, of the inside. And then those are Rubbermaid coolers, which we put ice in and different things. And on the ground, we have five-gallon jugs, uh, carry water in it. So there's events we do where uh, water's limited. They usually have a hose or something, but if there's a problem, you got to have water. Uh, washing and cleaning, that sort of thing, hand wash. Okay, but once again, this is my trailer, and it's all white. And I've had it serviced regularly. Uh, not a whole lot you have to do. I think I had to replace the tire a while back, and um, you know, get, you know, get the wheels repacked, that sort of thing. And then some of you have seen my van that I used to pull it. This is a 2004 Chevy Express van. It's a one-ton. I bought it specifically uh, before I bought the uh, trailer to pull my van, and it does a terrific job. Uh, I get about regular just regular driving I get 15 miles to the gallon so that's pretty doggone good and once again I, I service it regularly and I take care of it uh, that's the hitch pretty standard right there um, as far as cranking it up and then this is the front of my van right here and if you look on the dashboard I don't know if you see it I, I have two GPS's GPS's are great but sometimes when I'm going someplace uh, I just want to make sure I don't have a problem and then this is the full length Riding down the road, this is what you kind of look like, and you know the, the marker lights come on, and everything works great on well, my van and trailer. Okay, then when I come around, once again on the side here, I have a side door, and the side door I use mostly to carry some extra uh, equipment. I keep them in milk crates. So when you open up the side door here, you take a look right here. I've got uh, blocks of wood. Sometimes you got to take a table and you have to level it a little bit. Um, you're on your grass, you're on a hill, what have you, so that's the milk crates. And then you have extension cords, got to run for your power. And then next to it, you see the uh, my blue tents. Uh, I carry six of my tents. Basically, I only need four. Sometimes there's a problem, it rains, so you pop up an extra tent for the people to stand under. And then if you look down below right here, um, there's a yellow cord running across, and it goes across my driveway right here to the uh, house and it comes up through the bottom and that's where I plug my electric in and that's for to run all my power for my refrigeration freezer and um, refrigerator okay and then on the side here we have some of our signage that we put up just depends on the events we're doing uh, these are my signs my signature drink is raspberry tea so we roll them up they go up top there and then we do a quarter panel beef hot dog I don't know if you can see it a little windy out here. Picked a good day to do this. Let me bear with me. Let me just latch this door here. I have a bungee that comes off the side of the door. I can hook it onto the tongue. That way, it's not blowing all over the the place. Anyway, we do a quarter pound beef dog. If you can see that one right there. And then we do. We have a crab melt pita. If you see that one right there. That's a one of our big sellers. Let me move this out of the way right here. Uh, once again, that's our creation that we came up. Annie's Crab Malpita, Annie being my wife. And then this is our signature dish. Number one seller, Pepper Jack Grill, Crab and Avocado Taco. People are walking down the fairway. They first arrive at the event. They say, oh, look, my gosh, I hear them say it. Crab and Avocado Taco, and they come back invariably and buy one. And then we do quesadillas. We do chicken, uh, tomato. We do cheese and tomato. And then we have we do Italian sausage. We also I don't have the signs right here. They're inside the trailer someplace. Um, we do uh, fish taco and a variety of other things too. Okay. And then if you come around to the back of the trailer, I drop the ramp down right here. And it's a car car <coughs> car carrier. And the way I set this up, everything is on wheels pretty much. It's coming off of here except for the tables you have to carry. But everything rolls off. All right, and this is the back of the trailer, and this is my generator. 
Okay, it's a 2,000 watts. Sometimes we go to an event and they don't have a lot of power, so this is enough to run my refrigeration, my lighting, everything I basically need to do an event, whether it be a one day, two day, and I carry a, a one gallon can of extra of uh, gasoline. And then on the side over here, hopefully you can see all this. I got these bins set up when you first walk in on the left hand side, and you've got um, clamps that you need to clamp certain things down. I got bungees um, to hold stuff down. Uh, we do our crab, goes in a frying pan, that's down below, and our spatulas and different things we need. Then up top, we put up our signage. If you can see, along the top there is a purple pole right here, and that's part of our signs that we put up right there. Uh, we string them across the front. You'll see some pictures later of what they look like. Uh, I rolled off a grill. Okay, let me just show you real quick. This is a six-foot stainless steel grill that I rolled off of the trailer. This is one of the grills that I use. Okay, this is the front of it right here. It's all stainless steel and that's the front. And it's on wheels. I rolled that off first. But I carry a second one sometimes too. It just depends on the event. And I have a second grill too that's on, already on the trailer. But I take the plates off. These are the plates right here and I stack them on the side. Then this freezer right here is a little box uh, freezer. It's on wheels. I roll this off. This is where we keep our crab meat. Uh, cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack. Um, as we're working, that's right by the grill, so it won't be running anywhere. It's all refrigerated, and that cycles on and off, keeps everything nice and cold. Next to it is a upright freezer, and I can't go too far back because it starts getting dark. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. But next to it is an upright uh, freezer. Next to that is an, a refrigerator. It's all refrigerator. That's, there's no freezer inside there. And then if you go into the back, uh, there's another grill in the back there. Uh, there's a wire rack that gets set up in front of the uh, grills uh, where we work out where we um, once the product is cooked and everything goes on the cutting boards uh, we have a red cutting board if we're doing a fish product gets cut and then if it's a some sort of meat product uh, it goes where the uh, meat products are on the black cutting board and then all my supplies are over here and you carry your cleaners and what have you. there's another freezer right here this is where I keep uh, all my chicken chickens pre-cooked it's a fajita chicken meat comes in bags, it's already pre-cooked, it's frozen, comes right out, goes directly onto the grill. You just take it as you need it. And then this is the other grill I was mentioning to you, um, which is a six-foot grill. Now, the plates were on the side, as I told you. Then if you look up top, these are the signs of my Pepper Jack Grill sign. There's a big sign that says Crab Milk Pita. Uh, and then there's a couple other signs hanging up there also. Uh, over here, I've got a carry fire extinguisher. So there's a fire extinguisher I keep right on the back of the trailer, which sit situates right here. And then I carry one in my vehicle also. I never have enough fire extinguishers. I've never had a problem, but sometimes a fire marshal comes around and you got to have it ready. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the trailer. Okay? And thank you very much.